It's been a busy first quarter across the Inner East, as McGrath's Glen Bull knows all too well. Out of his 11 auction listings, nine of them sold before going under the hammer. So I caught up with him for some hot tips. Glenn, tell me about the first quarter. Very, very busy start to the year. In fact, for me personally, it was a record quarter. When I look back, go through all the sales that we did, it was a very, very busy time for us, that's for sure. The busiest part of the market, again, similar to the last quarter of last year, was people looking to do their first upsize, so people you know, maybe doing their second or third move, but looking to secure that big family home moving forward into the future. With all of that activity, what's the best method to handle the sale? Look, in a busy market like this, where there's a lot of buyers out there wanting to transact, my preferred method of sale is always auction. If you've got a lot of people out there trying to buy, it just makes sense to put them into competition to buy the property. And the benefit to our clients, the seller of the home, is it's the best way to get a premium price. Are there any standout sales in that period? Yeah, 2 Cannondale Street at Cannon Hill was a great auction property. We launched it to the market. We actually sold it prior to auction, but it just shows how much activity is out there. People competed for it in the first week and it went way above the seller's expectations straight away. 21 Windermere Avenue, Morningside. To show you how the market's moved, the owner bought that property for 720,000 18 months ago hasn't done a thing to it and we just sold it for 825,000. And again, we had two or three people competing for that one. It did go for auction, but we sold it a few days after. We did have a couple of unusual properties on the market, one of which was 105 Passion Street at Morningside. It was the old Balmoral Fire Station. On that one, we had a really good result. Young family purchased that and it's their dream property. They wanted something different and that's certainly what they got. They absolutely love it there. Where are you seeing the buyers coming from? What's really adding to the, to the activity in the Brisbane market at the moment is interstate buyers are coming up. When I look back, 30% of the properties I sold in the first quarter were to Sydney-based investors that are just looking at Brisbane as the next best alternative. Are there any new styles of marketing that you're seeing benefit from? One of the marketing initiatives that we're using at the moment that's going really well is professional video taken on properties. It's just a really, a really easy way for buyers and for sellers to share information about their property. You can fit so much information about a property into just a short 60 second video. It just works really, really well. That in conjunction with the premier listing on realestate.com, it just exposes your property out to the widest audience possible. And that's how we're getting great results that we are. The way video works so well is, like I said before, it, it's just such so easily shared. Sellers and buyers share it on Facebook and all their different forms of, of social media. And it just penetrates markets that we really haven't tapped into before. You can be sitting in your lounge room in, in Sydney or Perth, wherever in the country, it doesn't matter, and just have such a good walk through the property, it's almost like you've flown up to do the inspection anyway. The way we see it moving forward throughout the year is just good, sustained growth in South East Queensland and in Brisbane in particular, and to, to really look at that under the microscope, the eastern suburbs, as opposed to there's, there's word of a bubble in other cities, we just see nice, sustained growth. So it's a nice, normal market here in Brisbane. For more, contact Glenn Bull.